Shalom, balance, paradise, righteousness, all back up in the lab. One more again. And as you can see, I got the man with me, the man right cheer, Akon, the Jedi, one list. What is do, you do man? What's happening? I'm good, man. I'm good. It's very, very good to hear your voice again, man. And uh, very good to see you. Yeah, you look well. Definite. Give thanks, sibling. Give thanks. And and good to see you in, in good spirits. Um, Thank you, man. You know, after your performance as well, after, you know, I mean, you know what? Let's just jump straight into that, yeah, man. Let's just let's, jump straight Let's get into the juice. Let's get into the fat. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's get into the meat, man. It's before, we've yeah, got yeah. past the fat, man. We're getting straight into the meat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We're getting <laughs> to the meat, man. <laughs> the main course. <laughs> yes, main course style, man. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bellator, you had that fight didn't go your way um yeah. let's unpack that let's unpack the fight let's unpack the fight before we even get anywhere else with that yeah um because you was up against someone who was very experienced i didn't ex i didn't know he had that much experience uh, uh, um and i, I did <laughs> but ex well, of course you prepared for him um uh -huh. i think you did excellent man you could have given up multiple times um this is what you do though. This is what fighters do. They go out and they put it all on the line. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people, the feedback I got from that fight, even, I'll even mention Josh Thompson was saying, yo, Akon look fucking good in that fight, man. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what's next for this guy. Mm -hmm. You know. That, that's interesting to hear from Thompson, you know, actually. Uh, big shout out to him. He's a, he's a real. I spoke to him in uh, November after my performance in November. Mm -hmm. And he, again, he he was, uh, he doesn't really speak much to people that he doesn't know, I don't think. But I never spoke to him before that. I've seen him in my in my last two showings before that. Um, I've seen him two times before that, that show with Tim Barnett. And um, <clears throat> yeah, after he came over to him and gave me some good positive words and said look you keep performing like how you're performing you're you are going to be more than a superstar in 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 this in mma in general mm -hmm. and um i still believe that i don't need someone to tell me tell me that, that i know that in my head yes. i know that in my heart but it's good to hear from uh i, I would literally call him a legend he's been in, in in mma for a long time he's put down the graft he's yeah. put down his time he's he's fought the who's who's of lists list everywhere so um uh definitely was um good good to get that respect from him yeah and um that, that's it's nice to hear that that comment from him after that performance because it was it was you know as i say i mean i'm pretty sure you've watched it and you can see areas where you thought i mean there was parts a kind in that fight where i thought yeah man this is going to be over you've got <laughs> this there was about two moments and I thought if you just threw the knee or, or you know what I mean, or just did a little bit yeah. of a transition, I yeah, thought, yeah, yeah, yeah man, yeah. this is you, man, this is you. Do you, do you know what? The best way to sum up this fight is frustrating. It's just, I went in there and like, I don't, we, 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 we always be real here. I was real the last time, so I'm going to be real with you on this one. And it's not to make any excuses. It's just being real. I'm not going to hide things from, from you guys. So um, <clears throat> leading up to the fight, a lot of a, a lot of stresses. Everybody goes through a lot of stresses. It's been a madness this year. It's been 2020 lit down. <laughs> it's been <laughs> a 2020 lit down for everybody. Yeah. So leading up to the fight, a bit crazy. <clears throat> then I get to my fight week and things don't go to plan like, um, my cooker breaks so i have to outsource a cooker um and then like i'm i'm constantly stressing over just like over random things because uh things at home which i won't discuss mm -hmm. i won't discuss too deep things yes. at home just wasn't wasn't connecting just 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 something mad out the blue came um but it, it was it was handled as best as it could just bad timing right mm -hmm. so then so then now in fight week, my decision making seems to be a bit off because the night before, after my weigh-in, I eat a steak and I don't eat steak. And I don't know why I ate this steak, but I ate the steak just thinking I'll be fine because everyone else eats steak, you know, yeah. I don't, but I don't know steak. So I'm having now the, the shits from 
that night all the way up until my fight. So I feel like walking in, it's playing on my mind that mm. my electrolytes are going to be gone. Yeah. And I just felt like me truly watching that fight, everyone who says it's a great performance, I'm not taking it away from them. I'm saying thank you very much. I appreciate you. But I know what I'm capable of. And I know that was just a 50% version of me. I, I, felt, I, felt, I felt like I looked flat. I wasn't thinking intelligent enough. Yeah. Um, I, I agree was with that over, part. Overwhelmed. Yeah. I you, think you, I was overwhelmed with the experience. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I was just too much in my head. And it's a learning curve. And I'll take that on the chin that I didn't perform. I'll yeah. take that on the chin. And he, he performed and he was the better man on that night. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I think you, you, you hit on a key thing and obviously we, we didn't know until you've, you've, you've alluded to this external um, traumas or events were taking place, which, you know, unfortunately is not going to get your mind or keep your mind where it needs to be, which is, you know, it, it, mm-hmm. it's, it's time to fight. Um, mm-hmm. and, it, and as you've alluded to, it <laughs> did kind of see in... in you, now you're saying it, yeah, I think you did look a little bit more flat than usual. But it was your decision yeah. making. I don't think, as you say, you wasn't thinking fully. Well, mm. if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I wasn't even thinking that hardly at all. I was thinking, <laughs> I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna catch him. And he knows that. Yeah. Smart, 17 fight deep. Um, yes. Could almost call him a veteran. Mm-hmm. He knew that. I just need to keep running. I keep need to keep moving. Yeah. Tag him. Tag him. Keep moving. Mm. He's 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 not tapping my legs. Which I normally do. Exactly. That's <laughs> you know, what I'm thinking. He's not, trying, he's not chopping my legs. I'm good. I can do this all day, which he can, because that's what he does. You know, um, I didn't go for a takedown. I didn't like uh, try and chop him up in the clinch. It's just mm. a few things that that trust me when I say this, the resurgence, the return of the Jedi is gonna be mad. Yeah. Mad. Mm. Mad. Just because I, I know, I know, I know. It it just you know, sibling, and we know the potential, man. We just, we just need to see that physically manifested somewhere. Yep. In a, in a, you know, what I mean, in a, in a mixed martial arts capacity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So okay, Same <clears throat> so the fight takes place now. Didn't go your way. Yep. Yep. So, from what I'm thinking, from what I'm hearing, I'm thinking, yeah, man. You know, from the performance you did with that, you know. Uh, uh, Almost as we could say, a veteran, a very experienced fighter. He wasn't yeah, like took him to took him all the way. Over. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I got run over. Far like, from oh, it. So, so I'm thinking, so I'm thinking, yeah. okay, you know, the short, you know, on fighters and stuff, it's this pandemic stuff. You had an excellent outing. Like, when mm-hmm. are we gonna hear the next thing for 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 Akon? Like, who's he gonna be fighting next? You know what I mean? So, so so pick it up from there, sibling. So yeah, I'm I'm telling Bellator like, look, I've I've got no injuries. I'm I'm good to go. Like, get me on Paris. I said mm. I'm, I want to come back in Paris. So I'm, I said that before the fight. <clears throat> um, um, and I'll be I'll be again. I'll be honest. I wanted to finish Alfie and clean him out and then get back get on Paris. But I heard yes. Paris was full anyway. So I wanted to go on their neck on their next show and and get and get up. And then um, yeah, so. I kept in good contact with them as I normally do. And then randomly, like <laughs> news was released. News was released that uh, my manager's bringing off my phone on one Sunday, yeah? One Sunday afternoon. And news was released that I got released from Bellator. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I, I kept saying to him, I said, no, nah, you're lying. You're lying. Because you you must be joking. I, I said, why? What's the reason of me getting cut? And, what, oh, and no conversation. No conversation from them personally, myself. I I I I, I um I did get a, a, to talk with one of the matchmakers. Uh, big big up Jude. He did call me personally, and we did speak. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that gets him in trouble. I'm sorry, my bad. But it's, it's just yeah. real, real. You get me? Like so. Um, thank you for doing that. But Bella told himself didn't really reach out to me um, and didn't say nothing, didn't express their, their thoughts or feelings prior to this, this, this decision and just, wow. just cut, cut man loose yeah. along with another, another bunch of fighters, which don't make sense too, because a lot of them, you know, if you lose two, three fights in a row, yes. badly, mm-hmm. I expect you to get cut. Mm-hmm. I expect you to go. Come yeah. on, man. You've got to go and build up. Of course. But when you, Without blowing smoke up, we talk about facts. When you talk, when you 
take out a prospect in, in under two rounds mm. and then take out a former world champion uh, in in a, in 56 seconds. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then on their show, and then go and fight a, uh, someone three times as much experience as you who's going to fight for the title, apparently, next. And then come with a, to a decision against him. And then get yeah. caught. It don't make sense. It, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. If you want to build him and you believe in him. Yeah. You know, I'm talking from a business pants, mm-hmm. pants prospect. But I'll tell you, Noble, from, from me, there's a big silver lining. It's a massive silver lining. Oh, yeah. Be- because now I'm a free agent. I can fight on any, any show. I, I can, I, I, could, uh, I could find myself back on Bellator. If I wanted to, oh no, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say no because I'm a fighter and that's mm-hmm. that's what I do. Prize and fighter, yeah, I'm a prize fighter and that's what I do and I don't burn bridges in terms of, I don't take it personally. Mm-hmm. I know it's business, business is business, isn't it? Yes. Um. So, but this is this is definitely lit 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 more of a fire in my soul in my heart, just like what coronavirus did where it made people sit down and think what do you want what do you want to achieve mm-hmm. and i i from going into this game from going into mma from the start i've always wanted to be be the ufc champion and that's just kind of like now yeah opening up a bit more, opening up a hell of a lot more now that yes you know the crossover from bellator and ufc is they're, they're kind of at loggerheads indeed sort of thing. you know they're the it's very, very few athletes get crossed over from them. Um, very true. Very free, very few. So um, being, a, being a free agent and going a different route, um, poss- possibly up in um, UAE or, you know, them, them sort of places, yeah, yeah. possibly around there is definitely sounds like a better route to build up and become a champion out there and, and dominate and, and, and walk into the UFC and and uh, yeah. dominate from there too. With some excellent credentials. I think, you know what, uh, yes. that, that does sound very sensible. I mean, uh, obviously, as you say, the, the, the aspiration based upon the market, marketing position of mm-hmm. the UFC is that's the place to go. You know, yeah. that's where allegedly, quote unquote, air quotes, the best fighters are. Um, mm-hmm. But the decision, as you say, to maybe go a, a around about way to potentially position yourself to get there i think number one financially is going to be good for yourself two for the experience um mm-hmm. in every aspect as well and also exposure <laughs> to these different markets 100 percent, yeah 100 percent. because you know I, i'll tell you sometimes i forget that uh when i'm fighting alfie uh fighting these guys like alfie and fighting tim barnett with with like you know 13 fights and mm. 17 fights i forget i've only had like five fights five exactly. professional fights. i forget i do forget i'm not gonna lie to you because i feel like i'm at that level and and so much more i feel like i'm at that level so it's like to be able to you know hit the brakes maybe it's not really hitting the brakes it's just to be able to have more control yeah. of your career and really fight a lot more often because being a free agent i can do that now i can get out there five six times in a, in a year mm. and really put the pedal to the metal and and grow as a mixed martial artist in in live combat yes so um but it's all good really good promotion but i just didn't um i didn't even before covid we didn't get enough fights i don't really i didn't really get yeah. enough fights mm-hmm. and i think enough. With two things on that, I'm surprised because I hear very good things about Mr. Scott Coker. Um, yeah. that he's a really down to earth person. He doesn't mess fighters over and stuff, and doesn't you know mm-hmm. do mm-hmm. like a, an Uncle Dana kind of thing. Um, so that's <laughs> number one surprising. Um, and number two, that, that they've positioned in regards to the the, the owners. That that's a massive organization, an absolute well, not even organization conglomerate massive with yeah, lots yeah. of money so i'm surprised that they didn't take after ufc's first few events take that model and say you know what if, if they're gonna do it bellator needs to be doing it as well it can't just be the ufc only game in town 
Um, mm. So that's it's just it's surprising. I don't understand that the 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 model maybe the 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 board is very cautious in regards to this COVID thing, and they were they said you know well let's wait as long as possible until we can, you know, put fights on. Well, I think the the difference with it is that. Um, when you've got this se segregation, slight segregation of Europe and the Bellator as yeah. a whole. Yeah. So Bellator as a whole, they're doing a bag of shows in America. It's brilliant. But I don't see them bringing no European fighters over there. No, no European fighters making them active as, as maybe people would like to, or maybe people would. And I know it's just really hard with COVID. I don't know. I don't know the the implications or how hard it is to run a show. So when I do see shows on, I have nothing but good, good, um, um, good things to say about the, the people yeah. that got the shows running. Because Lord knows, <laughs> I know how hard it is to go to the supermarket. Never mind put on an MMA see. show. Yeah. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but I'm speaking about be prior, before, before COVID, how things were, <clears throat> and how I'd like to see more, like. Uh, more shows going on in Europe, yeah, under under that Bellator banner. But it don't matter to me now. Obviously, mm. uh, I can I can do my thing. Bellator, one championship, one fighting championship. You've got Ryzen, um, PFL. Yeah, we've got, got Brave, Brave, we've got yeah, UAE. yeah, Brave UAE. There's a plethora. You got you got Cage Warriors. <laughs> oh yeah, K good old yeah, carriage yeah, yeah. warriors in it. Good old, good old cage warriors. <laughs> Who have That's sent quite a lot, of, a lot of people to the UFC. Mm -hmm. A they, whole they load. Have. They they have, man. Um but um yeah, they they they're good. I, I just believe um you know, I I won't say enough. I won't say enough. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. <laughs> don't, I don't say much about cage yeah, 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 yeah. It's I mean, mixed reviews. Mixed reviews of cage warriors. Yeah. <laughs> well, to to be fair, my impression, and obviously this is from the outside looking in. Um, is it Paddy the own the uh, the guy? That owns it. Uh, I think it's um, Graham Boyden. Graham Boyden. Okay, Graham. Sorry, I, I apologies. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I've said Paddy. Um, Graham. <laughs> he seems to be like a mini da Uncle Dana. <laughs> yeah. or, or, or he's trying to be kind of thing that that's the kind of persona i get off him but just a, a uk version so it's less less uh <laughs> a little bit more toned down kind of thing uh, oh you know so is it uncle dana is it uh, uncle dana a bad thing or a good thing i don't know well uncle dana is it, it, from what i again this is outside looking in he's hard yeah. man unless yeah, you've got yeah, a yeah. big big name it's fuck you boss you know pay like your way earn your fucking mm. stripes mate mm. Mm. you know ain't no free rides here <laughs> that's true it's true but I, I guess when you're talking about the elite of the elites and the top the, the biggest promotion you can't have can't have no riffraff you can't yes. uh, you know you have to you can't have no water under the bridge and stuff like that. That's true. But what I'm talking about is once you're actually there. So as I say, mm. most, most, I don't think I've had any, heard any fighters say, oh, Scott Coker's an, he's an idiot. You know, he doesn't know what the hell yeah, he's yeah. doing. He's a, oh, he's yeah, a yeah, terrible yeah. man. But on the yeah, other yeah. hand, we hear lots of stuff about Uncle Dana. You know, mm. some goods, clearly. Some <laughs> goods, some bad things. things. <laughs> kind of like, whoa, how are you doing that? Like, oh, okay. Okay, so let's look at this then. Let's do a slight detour. So Rocky, Leon Rocky, oh, Edwards, yeah, yeah? you should have taken out the rankings. This is what I'm talking about, sibling, right? So Rocky, whose decision is that though? He's got an influence on him, man. Come on, because uh, because I swear to God, who makes these rankings? Because after I beat Tim, I only went up, I only went up yeah by five five. I went up to like forty something, and Tim was. <laughs> Tim was top 20. Tim was Tim was 19, I think he was. And I went up to, I said, what the f yeah. is going on yeah. here? Yeah. So similar, but back to Rocky. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do think it was out of order taking him out, out of the, um, taking him out of the rankings. I think he's been put back in now, though. He's now been three. put back to three. Yeah. He's now back to number three. Yeah. But it, it was a bit like, rah, uh, due to inactivity and not really his, not like, wow. not really his uh, fault. 
because well, it was inactivity during COVID. And this is the thing. Now, as he as as Dana White has said multiple times, there's fighters who want to fight and don't get care about the you know, in essence, let's be crude. They don't care about the consequences in regards to this COVID thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're going out there and they're doing it, you know, and they're fighting. And, and a lot, some people are having a lot of success, having a quick turnaround, not being injured, you know, all good. Mm-hmm. For, for, from, mm-hmm. from a fan's point of view, we know we're getting to see the content. Um, but then you've got people who are like, yeah. whoa, you know, I'm not too comfortable of like dropping everything and traveling thousands of miles and then having to quarantine. Like, I don't know what's going on kind of thing. Rocky was in a position to fight the ex-champion. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah. at the start. Mm-hmm. And they cancelled mm-hmm. that team. I remember and, that, yeah. And look, T. Woods, as they call him, he was T. moaning, he was moaning. I shouldn't need to come to London to fight <laughs> no Rocky, Leon, you know. T. I'm... Was, that's what we yes. should call him. This uh, is, he this was moaning hard. He hard was actually moaning, call. I remember. So if Big that would time. happen, let's paint the picture. If, so if that would happen, Rocky would have took him out in the third round, I'd say, you know, third. Yeah. Maybe sooner. Exactly, maybe sooner compared to that that last performance. Exactly. Unfortunately, T Woods, he was an excellent champion, but he's done. Stick a plastic plastic fork in him, he's done. Agreed. Um, Yeah. So he would have done that there. So then clearly he would have been the the number one contender. So then he would have Mm -hmm. fought Usman rather than Jorge Masvidal. Yeah. And then we would have had that part two, and that would have been the part two, and we would have seen exactly what was up. And he wouldn't have Uh had the first fight. You know it wouldn't. No, no, hell no. Hell this, no. This, hell no. It's it's going a complete different way. Exactly. Complete different way. And if you, you know, no, you taking my bias, my biasness side out of it. Mm-hmm. I I know that Leon has all the tools to get that. Of course, done you know it cleanly. You know it. The improvement. Taking my bias out of it, man. But this, well, well, even <laughs> even though maybe biased I can't in, do that still. <laughs> well, look, biased in or biased out, <laughs> work rate. Look at the win streak and look at the improvement mm-hmm. every single fight. Now, don't get Leaps me some bounds. Don't get it twisted. Usman, the Nigerian nightmare, he's put in some work and you can see some yeah. improvement, especially in regards to his striking. But it's leaps and bounds when you compare the two. Mm-hmm. Rocky's heads mm-hmm. and shoulders, and you, you know mm-hmm. what it is. It's because, unfortunately, Rocky's very reserved. He's not yeah. on the on the Ningram. He's not on the damn Twitter calling you people all kind of bit, foolishness. Yeah. yeah, he's not on that. Mm-hmm. He just wants to get in there, do his thing, and get out. Now, because of that fact, yeah. he's being penalised. They think mm. that he's not marketable enough because he's he's just reserved. And, you know, this is my opinion. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, maybe maybe there's something else lying under there why they don't want that to happen. But like, this is the uncrowned champion we got here representing Birmingham, big time. And I've always thought that about Leon for a few years. I've always think, always thought like, even when the Mazadal situation came on, mm. came about, I was like, you got to throw some respect on Leon's name, man. Yep. People people are gonna start like I don't know why the fan some of the, even some of the fans are like that. They're like, they just kind of forget what Leon's done yep. in the UFC. An eight fight, eight fight streak <laughs> in the UFC. Let never, never let alone the welterweight division, yes. and ne- never let alone in the top ten, in the top five, in the top ten. You've got an eight fight winning streak. Yeah, come on, man. It's unheard it's, of. It's, it's very unheard of. It's very unheard of. You got the champ. The, just it's the next, next in line is the champ. That's mm. it. That's who he's got to fight. Yeah, next in line is the champ. So. But with the hype and stuff, that um, it, it just seems they're not really taken off for him, as in terms of getting a hype behind him. Mm. Uh, I, I don't believe he needs it. I don't believe he needs to have that have the hype. But I, I definitely feel maybe he would. Does he does he really have to talk himself into a into a title fight? Nah, uh, man. You know what? I don't you think know, I don't think he should have to. No, you know what? <clears throat> as we've highlighted, pardon self. His work rate and his um his wins have, have proven this. And and mm-hmm. you listen to any MMA podcast and they'll bring up Leon Rocky Edwards and they'll say yep. exactly the same thing. How come he hasn't fought for the bout yet? Yeah. Yeah. So the, 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 the real analysts, the real fans know exactly what time is. I mean, look, Jorge Masvidal, game bread. That's mm-hmm. the title. That's that that's his moniker, right? He's down mm-hmm. to do the thistle anytime. He assaulted yeah, Rocky in London, right? And still running. And still running. Still running. 
It's still <laughs> running to this day. Now, let me just <laughs> let me just highlight this point because the, we're dealing with we're not we're not dealing with no road thing like he was fighting people in the back garden for money. This is a, yeah, an organization. Yeah. So he was in he was in another country. He assaulted mm-hmm. someone. The person who he assaulted mm-hmm. didn't say, you know what? This is business. I just got assaulted. Yo, police, come deal with this boy. Yeah? Yeah. Like yeah. a suing yeah. blood clot. Uh, he didn't do none of that. He said, okay, if nope. we're gonna do that, yo, Dana, you know, whoever else, let's just let's do it then. Let's do it in let's, the thing. Let's do it like let's do it like real, real like, athletes. Let's exactly. do it like the real martial artists yes. we are, you know. Let's do it like real, real men. That real men. That real we are. man. Real thing. Against my win. You this know what is mean? it. You, if you want to fight, let's fight. And you would have thought, because that was the story. Look, the story line was already there. He made hell, hell and money off the damn three piece and a soda merchandise and all hell, that. Fu- my, I can't believe my man made a merch out of it. <laughs> my man made like a freaking TV show. I can't believe it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and I said, you know what? I, with all that momentum, we won't book that fight. We'll give him Ben Askren. Yeah. And then that mm. catapulted him to something else. Now, I think if, you know, jumping into the DeLorean and doing some little moves and stuff, if they were to put that fight together, depending on, no matter what the outcome would have been, and, you know, Rocky would have took him, took him the hell out. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. he still would have been a big star based upon that, that thing, you know, that, that fight, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be easy. I don't think it would be easy for Rocky for him to take him <clears> out. <throat> He'd take him out again in the, the fourth round, potentially, right? He, he, he would piece him up everywhere. Like, it, it would just, just be like one of them, yeah, breaking yeah. down, breaking down, breaking down. <laughs> then my man's flat now, you get me, then keel over. It's just, I just, that's how I see the fight going, you know? It's just, it's just but, but you seen how he performed against, um, uh, when he fought, uh, who did he fight? Uh, Osmond. Osmond, yeah. When he fought Osmond. Mm. Yeah. He tried to say out short notice. He was preparing for that fight. Of course he was. Time. He knew to... he was going to have that opportunity. Yeah. So he, he just didn't, he, he didn't get it done. Nah. He didn't get it done out, out the window. That Bye-bye. should have been Leon's shot again. Exactly. That should have been Leon's shot, man. UFC champion, Birmingham, 170 division. That's what we should have been done had. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but it's coming. Is, it's it's coming. coming. It's coming now. It's, now, to, to get onto, as you highlighted... This 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 tear away one seventy or is he a one seventy is he one eighty five? He looks pretty yeah. impressive. No, I'm talking about this Hamzad Chamaya. Oh the how? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's looking you know crazy I, still. Yeah, I, I was I was I was gassed about him until he until he signed up to uh, fight Leon. You get me mm. now. You're an enemy. Now you're yes. an enemy of the pack. Do you know what I mean? Now you know the fact. I'm sorry, Hamza, Hamza Tamaya, you've done some great performance performances about getting yourself into the UFC. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he's just this is a this is definitely bitten too much. Way too much. Bitten too much of the pie now, you get me. It's like this is levels, man. He performed and talked himself. Do you get me? So he's yeah. done double, double, yeah. double hype, double, double build up. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, man. I see Leon again taking him out every single way, even in the wrestling. Yeah, you guys don't sleep on Leon's wrestling. I know. Don't sleep on Leon's wrestling. <laughs> and, the and the and the jiu jitsu. You, you know what I mean? Don't sleep on it. And then you have to contest with the stand up skills and mm. nice. Nah, the it's technical, gonna... the technical ability that Rocky possesses is is, is possesses is next level. Yeah, next this level. is it. Yeah. So I, I see that fight only going one way, only one way, mm. and it can get stopped multiple ways. Yeah, man, because look what he did to Gunner. Mm-hmm. But then, so this this is great for Leon, right? So mm-hmm. in terms of Cham, Chamza, he, uh, Hamza, however you say his name, he's got a very good, a massive amounts of hype in the UFC yes. right now. And and uh, God God willing, you know, that that it, it passes over to Leon and it, it propels him in such a way where he can have so much control of his career that he can... You know, I just want the best for my guys. Yeah. Of course, of course, that's all I want. I just want the best for my guys, and I want the the, the respect, and I want the, them to get what they're worth, and and for him to get that his dream, for him to get that title, hundred mm. percent. Definitely, man. Definitely, and we will. We won't have to wait too long because that's November twelfth, is it or something? December, December. Sorry, think, yeah. December even December. December, yeah, yeah. 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 December sixteenth. If I'm, if I'm, okay. if I think, think, I can't. I, can't oh, think good. of the top of my head. I'm oh, sure good. I said it's December something. 
Yeah, man. But, you know, yeah, man. Exciting times. Defo net. So back to you, man. Back to you with this with this um, free agency, man. Back to this free oh, agency. Allow me. You're not tragic. <laughs> <laughs> paint the picture. You've given us a little bit of a picture, but paint uh, uh, paint me a roadmap. Um, you, if you want to throw organizations into it, by all means, specifically, but paint me a roadmap of how how you see your career progressing, say, in the next sort of 18 months, two years. So, yeah, uh, I guess I'll give you a two year plan. I, I do see myself at the moment. I'm edging towards the Middle East. I'm, I, I do see that they're, they're, uh, even through the COVID times they're they're really popping things off and making making things work mm. out there um so i do see myself mixing around with promotions like uh, brave and promotions promotions like uae warriors they're the two main main sort of ones i'm kind of looking at and, and seeing and yeah. and seeing myself slotting there and, and causing a lot of noise and you know taking the taking the titles and mm. making a run and make making uh making a, a excel of my skills and making a, a career a big uh, what's the word I'm looking? Building my snowball. That's it. Yeah. I want to build my snowball out there and, and really the take momentum. it on. Yes, get the momentum flowing on my side and um, and and really just in, enjoy everything that this martial art life has to offer mm. and make a bit of money for myself uh, for sure. That that's definitely on the top of my list too. Uh, I know I don't do this just for money, but um, definitely now since um, coming away from. From Bellator, I kind of want to keep in my head that I still want to be able to provide for myself. I still mm. want to like, you know, so I don't really want to be going through too many local shows where the money's just not just of not course. right. Yeah. You've got ourselves to a position where where um everyone should know their worth. And I think that's a, a, a common theme that should happen in MMA in general. Oh, Fighters yeah. need to be able to uh, stand firm, need to be able to trust their management's to be able to stand firm for them and to be able to know your worth and call for, call for more, call for your asking price, you know, even on shows that are probably not paying that to any other, anyone else yeah. you say, yo, this is what you need. This is what I need for me to be able to perform. And uh, so if people are listening out there, they're new to MMA or maybe they've been doing MMA for a long time. Um, this is a shout and a call out to you to know your worth, man, ask for your price and don't be afraid to go somewhere else. Yeah. because you will be welcomed with open arms you know if you really give your whole life to this and you really do train hard you deserve to be paid so that that back to the career progression is go down go down that route with especially i'm, I'm it's still very uh vague at the moment because yeah. it's just being mapped out nothing solid <clears throat> but let's say Let's say uh, UAE Warriors become become world champion out there, dominate, move on to the UFC and and build a massive legacy and mm. become UFC world champion. Definite, definite. Because like, again, you still got, you know you're still very young in the career. Mm -hmm. You know, very young. So very young. The, the sky ultimately is the limit in that respect. Mm -hmm. the sky is the and it's exciting. I, I'm telling you, like after the first day of going. I got cut. I got cut. I can't mm. believe I got cut. Then that excitement just built up in me. I was like, opportunity, oh, opportunity, opportunity. Yeah, opportunity. I'm like, you, you can't stop what I'm going to achieve in this sport. You mm. can't stop. You, you, you will see me in the UFC. You will see me as a world champion. It's, mm. it's going to happen. I'm, I'm going to make sure it happens, Noble. It's going to happen. <laughs> you know I mean? Definitely. You heard it here first. <laughs> hey, trust me, really, Rocky's already done his thing. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So, you know, Rocky opened a massive door for us in Birmingham. Mm. He, um, when I was, um, before I even started MMA, I was watching Rocky in, in Bama. I was watching him tear up the Bama scene. Mm -hmm. And I just started MMA for, I think, maybe about... Uh, six months I'd started MMA and then I had like one one fight or maybe two fights in that time and um I was on Birmingham I was on their Facebook <laughs> mm. Leon Rocky was Leon Rocky was trying to message and trying to get where was he training where's the training found UTC turned up rest was history yeah amazing guy amazing definite, guy definitely and then now it's um renegade right <clears throat> renegade jiu-jitsu yeah yes so everyone's everyone's at the base out there and uh it's looking nice 
looking nice. Outstanding performance by Tom. Oh shit! Yes, on, on UFC. indeed. Yeah, yeah. Look very. Yeah. He look ripped as hell. I've never looking <laughs> seen see him looking that that like toned in any of his fights, man. What he's been? What kind of conditioning is he doing now? He's done a lot of gymnastics work, so a lot of body weight body weight training, yeah, uh, and a lot of consistent consistency. It's just mm. a lot of consistency. He's like he's having fun with training now, and and um. It's really showing in his performances. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, how he's just uh, he's just on. He's just on, on man. Point. On that was point. an excellent performance, man. <clears throat> that was excellent. Mm-hmm. And was it was it was it body body shots that got him? Or was it the leg kick that got the open him um, up and then? No, it was um, he jabbed him. He, oh, he was shoot, it was a jab, in it? That was it. A jab. <laughs> Bang. Strong <laughs> jab. Bang, Lord's jab. Boom. <laughs> and just done. This, the guy didn't want no more after that. Just clapped him, dropped him with a jab. Mm. Dropped him with a jab. So good, good mechanics, good strength, good, just sharp, sharp. Big, big, big time, big time. And he's a mastermind as well. He's a mastermind, so yeah, yeah. he knows what it is, man. He knows. Is there some, there's some killers in in the in that renegade, man? Yeah, Aiden as well. Aiden Lee, spectacular performance in Milan. Yeah. You know what I mean? Spectacular performance in Milan. He came out crazy loose and heavy as he was shouting, <laughs> big man in the cage. <laughs> loose and heavy, big man in the cage. And and yeah, man, uh, uh, even for, even Fabian, like, you know, it was close, really was close. close fight. Yeah. Really close fight. And could have went even, even one away, one or two ways. Um, but what then take your bias, you know, take the bias out of it. Who did who did you yeah. score it for? Because I scored it for 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 uh, Fabian. You scored it for Fabian. Yeah. Um, if I like, okay, I'll be I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I think that the judges could have scored it if they scored it round one, just because of they seen the leg kicks from Van Steven mm. as more as more um damaging more. More yeah, so more significant as mm-hmm. as the control, the hand control and, and the shots, the, okay. the the shots from Fabian. So that I think they gave Van Steven round one mm. and round two. And then round three was 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 Fabian all, all day. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 how I that's how I seen it. So mm. um and that's that's how Van Steven just sque- squeezed it out because round one was so tight, so close, they must have just gave him based on the leg kicks. That was that's all what really would land in. I was gonna that. say, yeah, because that's all he was really Getting off yeah. one, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. And they weren't hurting Fabian or anything. It's just mm. George has seen it as significant. Yeah, in and it was because it wasn't the fight I expected. Nah, nah, nah. It, I it, thought but, it would have been. Thought it was gonna be a bad, mad burner from the start. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> it was still a very technical flipping three rounder, man. I thought, and also let's touch on that. It should have went. It should have been a five rounder, man. That should have been a five round fight. That should have been. Like, a, then there would have been a definitive. Yo, he's definitely won, yeah. or he yeah, definitely yeah. won. Yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 definitely should be a five round fight. But um, I I feel like they're both very good athletes, very mm-hmm. good uh, mixed martial artists, and um, by by the by the if it was a five round fight, five round fight, um, um, Fabian stopping him. Fabian yeah. would have stopped him in in the in that fourth. After that third round, Fabian would have stopped him in that yeah, fourth. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just like I have to watch it again because I haven't watched it since since I was in Milan. But I remember watching it watching it again when I when I was in Milan. I think I watched it twice. I remember watching it because I kept thinking, how did how did Fabian lose that fight? I kept saying, how did he lose that fight? How did he lose that fight? Like, did they give him a 10-8 on the, mm. on in round two to Van yeah. Stevens? <laughs> You see, the scorecard wise, I don't know, I, I can't remember what was actually scored. I just remember the, 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 the decision. But I thought, in my opinion, Fabian had two rounds and my guy got one round. I gave him one one round potentially. And I, I knew it was close. Yeah. Yeah. But I just didn't think he did enough to get two rounds over Fabian. Fabian clearly had the third round. Clearly. Yeah, clearly, clearly, clearly. He was done. He was gassed. Done. Done. Absolutely done. Nearly finished. Mm. Nearly finished, man. I was screaming at the dev- it, at the it, television, it, man. <laughs> yeah, same, same. I was screaming. I was screaming from. I was screaming for the whole thing. I I missed round one. 
I missed round one because I was I just came back from the hotel mm-hmm. and I into, got into the hotel, yeah, yeah, just yeah. Showered, showered up, bathed, and all that thing, and then then I just got downstairs and it was Fabian round two, and that that's that's what I seen. That was the first time I watched it, and then the second time I watched just to watch the round one, mm. and in the round one I just seen I seen the leg kicks and I was like ah that's probably what the scored it scored him the round that's probably it. Mm. Well, you know. Well, yeah. These judges are fluky, man. This These judges way. are flaky as hell. <laughs> crazy flaky, unless you're crazy dominant. And even then, you, you've you seen those weird decisions when someone has been yeah. totally dominated for three rounds and then for some strange reason, it's a un- or, or split decision to the other guy. It's mad. And do you know another thing to t- take into account? It's, it's sometimes hard when we're watching it. We're watching the whole fight. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're, we're zoning into who's winning this whole fight where it's interesting that you have to look at when, when the judges are judging it, they're judging it on a round-by-round round basis. Yes. So you have to look at that as a round-by-round round basis of who won that round, who lost that round. It don't care. It, don't, it, seem, it doesn't matter who ends up at the, at the end of the fight yeah, more, yeah. more fucked, you know, or mm. more mashed up. Mm. it's like if you won three rounds say it's a five round fight and you won three rounds and he won two and then matched you up in them last two yeah you still won the fight definitely <laughs> you know definitely. so it's just, i mean so out of my logic i'm telling you my logic does not work with these judges because that still could be wrong <laughs> it's well it's the judging system i mean john mccarthy's done a good job um and breaking down some of the aspects of what the judges are looking for and stuff um mm-hmm control and what a takedown is etc etc now for 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 a casual or or for even a quote-unquote fanatical uh mixed martial artist you still won't know you as a fighter potentially don't know flipping what what do i actually apart from self-submitting technically knocking someone out or knocking somebody out how what do i need to do to ensure if i can't do any of those three things i'm gonna win this thing yeah you just <laughs> you just need to do, just need to dominate, man. It's it's it just need to not leave it in the hands of the judges, yeah. basically. Mm. It basically is that because you could even do, I say dominate. We've seen people get dominated and still lose. Yes, still lose a decision. It's like it's that, crazy. Well, I don't know what needs to be done, but uh, is, I is know the, what needs to be done. <laughs> we need to have actual fighters that are judging are judges, yeah, people yeah. that have fought before because it's just. Um, I think what's going on now, I think they're kind of bringing people that have fought, but people are do, who judge boxing maybe. So they're just, they're looking at things differently. They're not, look, they maybe don't even know about MMA too much. Of course they don't. The, you know, like, the Clearly. Uh, no, elbow. elbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he just knees him. <laughs> he just knee him. What? Yeah, 10 points, 10 points to him. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, he stuck his finger up. I like that. I swear these judges are thinking that, you know. <laughs> I, I've seen one one picture of a judge yeah. before, and he and he was on his phone. He wasn't even looking at the fight. How the f- <laughs> How can you even judge that? Yo, no, but you still there? Oh, sorry. That was on that was on Fight Fight oh, Island, yeah. right? I think I think no 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 no. It wasn't UFC. It was um. Some random video, random No, no, UFC, myself. man. I've seen that on UFC. UFC. Well. Yes. One guy was yes. holding us. A... <laughs> I was on their phone and someone, oh, I think wow. it was, um, someone pointed it out and I think I'm sure there's like a screenshot of it or something, man. But yeah, man. Dude, so, it's pff. happened too many times. Not even watching the fight. So How can you judge that? Yes. What are you, what are you doing? Sack these, ju- sack these judges. You need to get proper judges in, man proper judges it's atrocious yeah and even just build you know i mean maybe for 2021 it's a case of okay we're we're we're, we're doing a new model now in regards to, to to referees we're no longer utilizing boxing referees we're you know we've gone out and we've got you know josh barnett and you know whoever whoever, whoever and we're going to start there in six months we're mm. going to review it and see how the you know and just build it man and create mm-hmm. maybe a, a curriculum to teach them to to be the best how to judge yeah. yes how to, yeah just like how there's a curriculum for the referees mm-hmm. and that you know that that's really been 
I've seen one referee course before, maybe about four years ago. Um, and, and it was like really booming. And that was kind of like the sur- resurgence of it. Like it was mm. safe from MMA and all that, that, that stuff popping in England. I remember that. Oh, was that John? Um, was John? John, um, John Goddard. John Goddard. Yeah, he was yeah. one of the leaders of, of doing all that. And I remember that was a, that was a massive change in the UK of the regulation of, of refereeing. I remember that. That needs to happen with judging. Yes. Something along them lines. What, who, what, do you know what was driving that? Or was it an incident that took place? What made that, was the catalyst of that taking place? Or I think what was driving that was uh, fighter safety. So, you know, judging where sometimes you get like bad referees that would like, uh, again, on the UFC, <laughs> what, um, on the UFC, um, we're going to get to it. I know we're going to get to it. Well, Gaethje went sleep a long time before he needed to. Jason Herzog. Wow. <laughs> he tapped like he three excited. times, man. He was excited about watching the fight. He was, he was like, oh my God. Oh He's my gassed. God. Yeah, yeah. It's actually he happening. <laughs> it's happening. He was gassed to be there. And then, fuck, how, how many times have we seen this though? No, but you know what? In Jason's defense, he rarely, I mean, the comments might kill me for saying this, but I rarely <laughs> see him mess up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You facts, facts. He's normally so, on point. Yeah, 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 facts. He, you know what? Um, he's normally very underneath the radar, which is a good thing as a, being a referee. Yes. You no, know, I, I like Herb Dean. I like her. I like Herb Dean a lot, but he's been on the on the he's, wrong end of a few. Exactly. I, <laughs> I like Herb few, as well. I man. like Herb. <laughs> big, big shout out to Herb, man. But he's been on the wrong end of a few. Especially few, uh, with that Jai. Herbert thing. Yeah, what? okay. The fuck yeah, yeah, was yeah, yeah. that about, man? Yeah, it, it was it was a, a mad a mad decision, man. That was I remember watching it and, and thinking, um stop the fight. Like what yeah. the fuck? Like, like you were shouting like stop the fight at yeah. the screen. And <sighs> I wonder what runs through a referee's mind. I, I, I'm trying to remember what he said because I watched his apology or I watched his explanation of, of the... Because his hands of, were extended of, of what happened. Yes, that's what he was saying. So he, he was saying he, he was still intelligently <laughs> doing no, something. he wasn't. Still intelligent. He was yeah. stuck. Still inte- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was literally yeah, stuck in that position, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was yeah, stuck. Yeah. He wasn't... Too. Defend, intelligently defending and uh, my man stood over uh, him like say yo I ain't doing that and he's like nah man you gotta hit him you gotta hit him uh, yeah 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 it was bad it was that was a bad decision by Herb Dean but well, luckily it wasn't as bad as um y- Yakazami Yaka what was it you don't even see him ref no more the, the Japanese fella what fight? What fight did he mess up on? <laughs> he he messed me, up on every me. fight, man. The, <laughs> the, the, the last, the worst one was um um, <laughs> um who's the champion? Um, oh god, what's the name with the blonde hair? Yeah, Masaki. Yeah, Masaki. I know you're about. Um, um, what's her name again? The the, the one twenty five champion who fought um Nunes twice. And she got the Shevchenko. That's it. Oh, Valentino Shevchenko. That's the when one. she what done the the left head kick. No, not even the head kick. She was ground and pan in this poor Brazilian girl Which into one? flipping a Bolivian. There was blood everywhere, man. It was she was in um Par- Paraguay or something. Yeah, man. This was probably about a year and a half ago. She the, wow. the poor girl was flipping just destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. I'll, 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 I'll be honest here. I don't really watch the watch the women too tough, you know. Right, right then, okay. That's, and that's I, a nice I don't one. know. I don't. I don't. It's just. Um, is, it, is it a mass? Is it a ma- male thing that you don't want to see the women take the damage, or? Um, I just, I, don't, I just, I, I like, I, I pick and choose which, like, uh, I heard there's some some cracking women fights out there, and I've, I have seen a few, but I, I pick and choose which ones I watch and stuff, and so I'm not really. Like up to date. No nah, man, I need them. some I, more. I, I need yeah, some more so... <laughs> detail, man. Why, nah. man? Why are you picking and choosing on the women's fights? Just you don't find them entertaining enough, or like? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I just when it first when I first was watching it, yeah, back, back. I, I'll admit now, back maybe like three years ago when the women's first came into it, I thought the skill level was just whack. Like, oh, yeah, I was, yeah. I was, they were just banging each other yeah. off like in their heads, yeah. and no one was getting knocked out or caught yeah. or anything like that. <laughs> and it just, it just was, it just was like I'm just thinking. Yeah. I'm just looking at the at the screen like this, like, oh mm. my god, I don't like watching boring fights. Yeah, I watch so many fights, I don't want to waste my time exactly. watching boring fights. I understand so, that. I, that that's kind of what got me out of watching watching the women, and mm. um, I like I really liked watching um, Yana um, uh, Young Jacek. Yes, I loved watching her style. Yes. I loved watching her fight, and I do like Shevchenko, but I don't think I've seen that fight. But oh, that's uh... it. Like, pick one or two, and that's it. Okay, okay. <clears throat> You're missing out. Well, I need to. Re- I'm missing out. I need to revisit it. You are because the skill level has stepped up dramatically. It has. I have seen. I have. have seen some highlights. Mm. I have yeah, seen man. some highlights. I'll, so I'll... I'm not like I'm not like against the women fighting. I actually love it. <laughs> yes. <Do> you know, <laughs> equality, <laughs> any man. Equality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not against the women fighting. I think it's. I think it's amazing. I think we run back in the day when we're all in the bush. Women used to used to used to be violent, mm. really violent, and they used to protect the kings, protect the queen, protect the whole pack. Exactly. You know? So, um, I'm not against women fighting. I think it's I think it's amazing. I think it's sick what they do. But uh, I just I've I've been lulled to lulled to sleep with some of the fights in the past I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Hey, um, hey sibling what, what's um what's the best way for people to get in contact with you throw your socials out there oh as always jedi ache so it's j3 d i a k e s so you find me across all social media platforms and uh yeah that um or type my name in ache on one list and stay tuned big things are coming in the future big news coming soon you hear that mm-hmm. right here mm-hmm. make sure if you haven't subscribed to Acon's page go subscribe across all the platforms like comment subscribe and share